Hi, welcome back. My name is Narissara, and welcome to Yoga for Athletes and Runners. So, we'll work today on some things to help strengthen, tone, and stretch, as well as work with a little bit of mental conditioning and functional movement. So, for today, I'm going to show some things that will require、um, some props, but you can do them without. But I just want to show you some options as well. So, one of the things I'm going to use is a towel. And this is nice、um, if we're going to work with some stuff with the shoulders. And if your quads are really tight, this would be nice、uh, to help connect. And then I'll show some things with a chair. And also some things with a wall as well as in the room. So you've got some options as well. Okay? So let's first、uh, come down to the floor. And this has always been interesting. If you can make it down to the floor without using your arms, that's always a nice way to start out the day, right? If you can make it down to a, a seat. Yeah? Or if you can come back up without using your hands as well. All right, so a test of a lot of different things your flexibility, your balance, your ability to become a up and down, you know, especially if some of you have to get kind of low. Yes. So that's something good to work on. And come to sit.、Uh, I'm going to sit on my heels this way. If that's not. Good for you. You can always take a towel and place it underneath, say, like the knees, the feet, and start to come back. Sometimes this is enough to create a little bit of、um, support here. Otherwise, we can also come to sit cross legged. Let's just take a moment to center and breathe, right? So, part of the practice is finding that inner sense of strength and peace inside. Let your eyes close. Let's take three breaths here. Just in and out through the nose, inhaling. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. And inhale. Exhale three. And where the benefits of the practice are to help condition the body as well as condition the mind. Let your eyes open and come up to stand, preferably without your hands. And、uh, let's work a little bit on working with the shoulders. So I'm going to show using a towel. Let me just turn around for a moment. And I'm going to place the towel over my right shoulder. Just in case I need it. So I'm going to bring the right arm up and I'm going to externally rotate and bring the hand behind the head. All right. And so you can bring the left hand to the left elbow here.、Right. And so just watch out for the elbow come out to the side. See if you can bring the elbow forward and up. And that might be enough today.、Right. Or you can bring the left arm out, internally rotate. Bend the elbow and bring it behind, and you might hold on to the towel here.、Yeah. Some of you might be able to get your hands or fingers a little bit closer together. Try not to drop your chin, lift your chin, lift up in your core. So, a lot of people drop the chin down, keep this lifted, and keep this lifted from the pubic bone to the navel, lifting here.、Right. So, breathe in and exhale, take a side bend over towards the left. Then inhale, center, and exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, side bend over. Inhale up. And then as you twist to the right, left,、uh, left hip pulls back. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And as you inhale back to center, free your hands, free your arms and shoulders, and just roll your shoulders up, back, and down. And then up and forward and down. Then let's do the other side. So you're going to bring your left arm up and bring the towel over the other side. And the hand behind, right hand up. And remember, left elbow forward and up toward the ceiling. And so maybe you stay here. Or you can bring the right arm out, internally rotate, 
bring the elbow around, roll the shoulder back and down. Maybe you can just hold on to the towel or let your fingertips touch. It is you inhale here, exhale, side bend over. Inhale here, take a little twist. Inhale, center, and exhale. And then inhale, center, and exhale. Good, inhale, center. Free the arms, free the shoulders, and roll them around, all right? And again, you know, the point isn't to force the body open, but rather to encourage things to open around, okay? Let's move on a little bit. So let's work with the lower half of the body, all right? So let's take the right leg and place it over. Keep the body facing forward. And then inhale the arms up. Bend the elbows, hold on to opposite elbows. Good. And then try not to let your hips twist a bit. Try to keep the hips forward and the shoulders forward. So breathe here and exhale, side bend over. Inhale up and side bend the other way. Inhale up, exhale, side bend. Inhale up, exhale, side bend. Good, inhale up, free your hands, undo the legs, widen your feet left and right, inhale up, exhale, come into a squat pose. So some of you might just bring the hands to the thighs, some of you might come down lower, some of you might come down all the way. Just try to keep your heels onto the floor and your breathing here. Lift up in your low core, press the palms together, roll the shoulders back, breathe here. Open the mouth, exhale, <sighs> breathe in and exhale. Good. Now from here, we're gonna bring the hands to the floor. Now parallel your feet and get them a little closer together so they're gonna more underneath you. And you're gonna come to a standing forward fold just for a moment. Then bend your knees and roll up to stand. And let's do the other side. So cross the left leg on top. Inhale the arms up. Hold on to opposite elbows. Breathe in, exhale, side bend over. Good. Keep the hips facing forward. Inhale up, exhale, side bend the other way. One more time. Inhale up, exhale. And inhale up and exhale. As you inhale up, go ahead and uncross the legs. Inhale, exhale. Let's come down into a squat again. So all these poses are starting to warm up the inner groin, inner thigh area. Yeah, and then you work on flexibility in the ankle, in the knees, and the hips, right? And again, if you just need a moment, you can always sort of let your heels descend. And spine is tall, your face is relaxed. Exhale. One more breath here. Then release your hands down, parallel your feet, and just roll up to stand. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down, and we'll warm up the body a little more with some sun salutations, okay? So let's come to the top of the mat and gather the legs as close together as possible. Press down through your feet. And then when you're standing here in mountain pose, see that instead of the shoulders coming down, the hands might come down, you might open up through the front of the shoulders here so the palms might actually face out. Okay, let's take an inhale, reach the arms all the way up, and exhale, fold over the legs. Now make sure you've got a flat back, a long spine, as much as you can on the way down. Now let your arms drop and your head release. Step your left foot back into a lunge, and stay in the lunge for a moment. You wanna bend the front knee so that's over the ankle. And if the lunge is hard, you might wanna put yoga blocks underneath. And take your time here, just warming up the back of the leg and the foot. Yes. And then drop the back knee down. Bring your hands to the thigh and lift up for a moment, right? And we're just going to pulse it. So you might sort of bend a little here and then pull back. And we're just going to warm up the connections between the spine and the leg and also in the quad, yes? So just taking your time here to hinge forward. Yeah, we've called this crescent moon or anjaneyasa in yoga. All right, so you're gonna stay here in a comfortable lunge. Make sure that knee is over the ankle, all right, and reach your arms up. Circle your arms 
back and around. Up, back, and around. And up, back, and around. Good. Bring your hands to the floor. And let's make our way back. And we're coming back to the hands and knees. We're going to open the shoulders a bit. So on the hands and knees, walk your arms forward. And now your body's going to make a diagonal. Your head's going to come toward the ground. And it may or may not touch in this melting heart pose. Let's take a couple breaths here. Good, and then make your way back onto the hands and knees and step the left foot forward into a lunge. All right, so let's start with the back toes um, tucked under and the back knee lifted. So just take a moment here just to find some good alignment with the knee over the ankle. And if that back knee is a little bent, that's fine. If you can straighten the back leg all the way, that would be nice for the whole backside. Good. And then we're going to drop the back knee down and come to lift up. Good. And then you're maybe you're more square, more of a 90 degree angle here. Or if you can start to send the hips forward, right? So a lot of time when you're running, when you're jumping, right? A lot of the hip flexors and the muscles in the front of the body, the psoas, you know, those tend to get a little bit shortened. We want to try to lengthen that out, right? But just notice, you know, what's different between the right and left, right? And just think of it, you know, your body is your friend here, right? We want to always approach this practice with a, a friendly attitude. And then find a place that's useful, right? Not too much, not too, not too little, and reach your arms all the way up. And then start to swim the arms forward and down, back and up. Do that a few more times. Good, full range of motion in your shoulders. Okay. And then from here, reach the arms up, bring the hands down. And then tuck the back toes under, straighten the back leg, step to the front of the mat, and just fold down. Reach the arms all the way up. You can bend the knees and stretch the spine long, reaching up. And then mountain pose, coming back to your starting position, Tadasana. Let's warm up the shoulders a little bit more. And so I'm gonna show some things with a chair, right? Especially if downward facing dog is, is harder for you. So some of you might use an intermediate level, like a shelf or a bench, and you can put your hands onto that. Lift up in your core, walk the legs back. You can bend the knees if you need to and start to elongate the body. All right, so, and this is nice, yeah, especially if your shoulders are active. And breathe here. See if you can have a toning of the low belly, low core, as you inhale and exhale through the nose, letting the chest expand and release. Right. Yeah, and you can also use the wall. So just watch it, this is really nice. I've advised some of my clients to work with this. So you can bring your hands to wall height and just make sure one hand isn't higher than the other. Some of you might have to widen the hands more or turn the uh, fingers outward a bit as you walk the body back and think of the spine as super long. And this is kind of a nice way to get a different angle of the chest and arm muscles. And then we'll just breathe here. Good. And there's no tension. There's no stress. So you can let your jaw, your mouth, your eyes relax. You can feel connection to the hands, feel connection to the feet. And then you can come forward this way. And if you need to, you can roll your shoulders around. Okay. All right, and if that's really good for you, either using a chair or the wall, then you can do that a little bit more you know, on your own. But we're gonna come back also to the mat and we'll do a few more standing postures, things to open up, yeah, things to strengthen. Okay, let's take an inhale, reach the arms all the way up and exhale, fold over the legs. 
Let's take an inhale, step your right foot back into a lunge. Drop your back knee down. Come all the way up. Breathing here. Good. Bring your arms out to the side and give yourself a hug with the right arm on top. Crawl your fingertips around and breathe here. Some of you might be able to stay here. Some of you might be able to keep the elbows crossed and let the back of the palms touch or the thumbs, uh, the palms might touch and your thumbs spin to the left. And then you can free your arms up, bring your hands down and make your way back into downward facing dog. So in downward facing dog, you're gonna walk the knees back a little bit, the hands forward, tuck the toes under, lift your hips up and back, and you're making an inverted V, a pyramid, where the apex, the high point, is your hips, right? And your heels do not have to touch. Maybe your knees are bent, maybe the heels aren't touching. But get the weight more back into your legs and out of the hip, out of the wrist creases. Yes. Good. And then from here, we'll take an inhale forward to plank pose, top of a push-up. Now make sure your butt's not into the air. Make sure your bum is down. You might have to walk your feet back a little bit. Good. Breathe here. Come back into down dog and bend your knees if you need to so you get the lengthening in the low back and the spine. And then take an inhale forward to plank. Yeah. Make sure your butt's not up. Make sure your bum is down. Yes. Yeah, and see if you can roll your shoulders back and then lower yourself all the way down to the floor. And now make sure your elbows go straight back as you do this, as opposed to out to the sides. Untuck your toes and then bring the forearms to the floor and come into Sphinx Pose. I'm gonna walk my arms a little more forward. Yeah, so the elbows are underneath the shoulders. Yeah, and this is good for your low back, right? So back bending's really, really good, you know, for athletes, right? To open up the front of the body. Right? Drop your head down and roll your head over to the right. Inhale here, exhale, roll your head over to the left. One more time, roll your head over to the right. And roll the head over to the left. And as you come back to center, Release down and just take a rest for one breath here. Come up a bit, bring the hands underneath the bottom of the rib cage, and then you can either press up into cobra, all right? Some of you might even know upward facing dog, which is the thighs are off the floor in this one. Don't push anything too hard and make your way back into downward facing dog. Take a long breath in and exhale all the way out. Inhale here and exhale. Let's step the right foot forward into a lunge. Inhale here. Step your back foot forward and fold. Drop your head. Lift your core. Come through a long spine flat back as you inhale the arms out and all the way up. And return to mountain pose. Arms long by your side. Good. Try to soften your eyes. Soften the jaw. Good. Inhale the arms all the way up and exhale, fold. Now go long, 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 go into the tips of the toes all the way down there. Take an inhale, step your left foot back into a lunge and reach your right arm up into a twist. So you're just lifting up, yes. Turn from the spine, turn from the ribs. Good. Bring the hand down, come back into downward facing dog. Good, taking an inhale forward to plank pose. Remember, elbows by the ribs, not out to the sides, just slightly different. And look forward as you lower yourself all the way down. Come into Sphinx Pose again. So take a moment here as you roll the thumbs, the index fingers down. And then play with me on this. Do some shoulder rolls, even though your uh, forearms are on there. So you're gonna be rolling the shoulders back and the shoulders forward. Right, so you're kind of pressing you know, into the floor as you're developing some mobility, you know, breaking up any adhesions. Yes. And breathe here, exhale, release down, and let yourself rest for one breath. Now bring your hands underneath your 
shoulders, right? A little bit further down, actually, the bottom of the rib cage. And then you can either have your toes tucked under or the tops of the feet into the floor. And either come into cobra where your legs are off the floor or on the floor or up dog where your legs are off. Okay, breathe here and exhale back into downward facing dog. And then from here, let's step the right foot forward into warrior one. So I'm going to ground my left heel down, right foot forward, come all the way up. Okay. So warrior one, the hips are coming forward, the shoulders are forward. Right? That back foot is, that bows, back toes are coming toward the front edge of the mat, and the hips are mostly square, right? Watch out for your front knee that it's not going in or out, but right over the ankle in between probably the first and second toes there, right? So reaching up, yes. Coming into warrior one. So. How do you work here, right? So if your stance is not so wide, then this is it right here. And the wider, the longer the stance, the deeper the bend in the front knee. Don't let your body come forward. Let your body come upright and have a lift in the core. Your back heel might not touch. It might be lifted. That's okay. But keep your shoulders facing the front. Yeah, and again, the deeper the bend, the harder it is, the more stretch in the quad, right? Breathe here. Now you're gonna to open toward the left side into warrior two. So I'm gonna pick up my feet and move so that this right leg is externally rotated. The back foot's on a 90 degree angle. I'm gonna widen the stance even more and breathe here and again. Go ahead, drop your arms down for a moment. Let your shoulders relax. And bring them out. Good. And then the wider the feet are, and the more bend that you've got in that front leg, the harder it is. Yeah? Okay, flip your palms up toward the ceiling, feel the neck muscles relaxed. Now keep that relaxed in the shoulders and in the upper arm bones. Just spiral your hands down. There you go. Flip the right palm up, take a peaceful warrior and then circle your hands to the floor. Come right into plank pose. Good, and then breathe here, and then lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Move your hands back a couple inches by the ribs and either into cobra or upward facing dog. Breathe here, exhale back into downward facing dog. We'll step the left foot forward, right? So I'm gonna ground my right heel down, left foot forward, and come right up into warrior one. So the warrior poses build strength as well as flexibility. All right. So take a moment to make sure that knee's going straight forward. Those back toes are coming toward the front of your mat. The hips aren't perfectly square. They're a teeny bit open, but the shoulders are facing the front, All right? And you might have your arms a little wider. You might think more together. The palms don't face forward, they actually spiral toward each other, right? Breathe here. Good. Calm strength flowing throughout. Good. And then you open out to warrior two. Good. Letting the arms relax. You can widen the stance. Make sure that you're externally rotating so that the knee's over the ankle. Your bum is down. The back foot's on a 90 degree angle and you breathe here. Drop your arms down for a moment, then bring them back out. Flip the palms up, feel a release in the neck, and then flip the palms down. Good, flip the left palm up and tilt to the back of your mat for peaceful warrior. And then circle the hands to the floor, right into plank pose. Good. Breathe here, lower yourself slowly all the way down. Good. You can always do Sphinx Pose if that feels better. This is totally fine. Or you can do Cobra. Or you can do Upward Facing Dog. It should feel good. Whatever you're doing, it should feel good, right? <laughs> Exhale back into Downward Facing Dog. Now stay here in Down Dog for a moment. Take a long breath through the nose. Now open your mouth. Exhale all the stress out. And one more time. Full breath in. 
and exhale all the way out. And then just walk your feet forward to the front of the mat and you're just gonna hang over the legs. Let yourself drop. So take a moment. You might wanna hold on to opposite elbows. And when you let the arms drop down, you can sway the body a little bit and then roll up to stand. And then just take a moment in a standing meditation practice, right? You've stood there just trying to recenter yourself and that's a good practice to have, right? So when you're standing here, feel your feet, then feel the energy rise up the body and let your awareness expand to front, to the sides of you, to behind, right? You're gonna be expanding outward, but also connect inside. Good, and then from here, let's go ahead and um, do some side-to-side -side lunges, and we'll also play a little more shoulder opening, okay? So you're gonna face sideways for a moment, and um, have your feet uh, not shoulder width apart, but sort of wider, like wrist width apart, right? So you get a nice wide stance, right? Okay, so from here, oh, actually I changed my mind. Let's do this. Let's do this for your shoulders first before we do this one. Like I'm going to take the towel again and I'm going to bring it behind. So some of you might need the towel as a little place of extension here. Right, you might need to play with that and feeling the shoulder blades open up this way. Okay, so some of you might not need that. You can hook your thumbs or you can interlace the fingers behind and stretch here. Okay, so and when you're here, just make take a moment to plant through your feet and take an inhale, lift up, and take a little back bend here. Oh and then come back to center. Then bend your knees and come into skier's pose, like you're downhill skiing. Get, get low as you can and come back up, all right? Then one more time, feet nice and parallel. You're gonna do a little back bend here. Send your hips a little forward. Let your heart come up to the sky. Make sure you're breathing and come back to center and then bend your knees Lift up in your core as you get down into the legs, like you're downhill skiing, right? Let your eyes relax, your forehead relax. Yeah, drop the edge just to just 10%, right? Good. Then one more time. You're going to lift up, exhale, inhale, exhale. Little back bend here. Come back. And then inhale, exhale, bend your knees, come into skier's pose. You can keep the towel or release it as you fold over the legs. Now your legs might be straight or they might be a little bent. That's fine. And breathe here. And if this is okay for your shoulders, keep holding onto that towel, hooking the thumbs or lace and the fingers. If you need to release, that's fine. Your arms might come up toward the ceiling or forward and you're breathing here. And then we're going to make our way up to stand and release, okay. And you can shake your wrists out, shake your shoulders out, okay. All right, now we're ready to do the other one, okay. So go ahead and let your feet come wide, nice and tall, hands onto the hips here. Take a breath in, exhale, come halfway down, strengthening the back, long spine, hinge at the hip creases. And then inhale here, exhale and fold. Now, your fingertips might touch the floor. They might need to touch yoga blocks. But make sure your belly is lifted and your spine released down. Let's stay here for a few more breaths. Good. And then just take a moment. You're just allowing an excessive tension or tightness to be acknowledged. Right? Treat the body like a friend, right? A good friend. From here, lift up a little bit and turn your heels in and your toes out. And you're just going to breathe in, exhale, bend your right knee. And you're doing side to side little lunges here. Inhale back to center, walk your hands over, and exhale, bend the left knee. Again, inhale center, exhale, bend the right. 
Inhale, center, exhale, bend the left. Good, inhale, center, parallel your feet. Bring your hands to your hips and inhale, come all the way back up. Then let your feet come closer together and breathe here. Let's go ahead and make our way down to the floor. And as we're down onto the floor here, Let's see, you might need your towel, you might not, okay? We'll do a little something for our hamstrings. So, when you're on your back, go ahead, bring the right knee into the chest, and you can either use the towel around your foot to straighten the leg upward. If that's not possible, you can also just hold on to the leg, somewhere around the thigh. And for me, if you have your knee bent and your leg um, up toward the ceiling, that'll be one part. But if you can straighten your leg and lower the leg down a little bit, sometimes you'll get different fibers. You'll get different layers underneath. Point your foot and flex your foot. Point your foot, flex your foot. Good. And then from here, let's go ahead, re-bend the knee. And take a twist, bring the right knee over to the left side and bring your right arm out to the side. And if it's the shoulder has popped up a lot, come back a little bit so that knee isn't so uh, high up. You can even support it with the left hand underneath. Two more breaths here. Take an inhale back to center and then straighten your leg. Do the other side, bring the left knee in. I'm gonna use the towel, place it around, and straighten the knee. And again, you can you find connection. It's all about connection, right? And not about what it should look like, what it should feel like, right? And you know when you're in the flow, right? So maybe it's here, maybe it's more here, maybe it's even here. And then if you point and flex the foot, you can also feel what's going on in the calf, in the shins. Try to really press through the heel as well. You're gonna bend the knee and take the knee across and then open the left arm out to the side and breathe here. And then take an inhale back to center and stretch out. And then we'll do one more as you bend the knees, place the feet onto the floor, bring the right knee into the chest, flex the right foot, right ankle over left thigh. You can use the towel if you have a hard time connecting with the hands behind the thigh. I'm gonna bring the towel underneath the left thigh to pull that inward, right? So, especially if your hands don't connect to the back thigh. Let's stay here and breathe. And then try to tilt your pelvis back so there's a space underneath the low back. So you're getting the right glute area, the right butt. And we can release that. Bring the left knee in, externally rotate. And you can use the towel underneath, but make sure you get your shoulders and your head back onto the floor, right? So, and if, especially if you just need a moment to track the left knee straight back and the left thigh outward. I've got my feet flexed to stabilize my knee joint. And then you can release that. And then just come to stretch for a moment, come to relax, and let's take about six breaths here. Inhale, exhale, all the work stops. Inhale, exhale, two. Inhale, exhale, three. And inhale, and exhale, four. Couple more breaths. 
Good. You can continue resting here. Or you might, might like to bend your knees, place your feet onto the floor. And then roll over onto your side to make your way upright. And as you come upright, sit comfortably for a moment. Feel the body relaxed, but awake, the mind spacious and collected. And stay connected to your voice, stay connected to your mission, stay connected to your power. Thank you very much. My name is Nerissa Red. I hope to see you soon.